Hello, John Dilworth here. Uh, I'm animating on scene 35 of how I want to I want to do um, glass breaking. The door is kicked down and shatters. This is just the layout, but I want to draw this explosion, right? So I was thinking, well, let me see. Maybe I should look at something. So I did. I pulled up uh, this. Uh, 1980s uh, Timing for Animation by John Hallis. He had a partner, but I don't have the data. And it's great, too, because it has lots of nice stuff for animation and ideas. And so I was thinking, here's one for water. And uh, it looks pretty cool. It, these are the, well, that's three. And you've got to go here, the four, the five. Then it goes back up six, seven, that type of thing, eight, nine. But I, I kind of like the idea. And so what I'm going to do, that's Jane not having a good day. So I thought I could use this old, this layout. And in, let's say we, we use another color. I'm going to use another color. That's for sure. If I have one, why don't I have one? I used to have a green one. All right, hold on. Things are happening. Blue. No, that's blue. I used to have a green one. All right, I'll tell you what we have to do. We'll have to do it in pencil. So we'll just do it in pencil. Okay, so the door is where? So Jane can go. I need to see what I'm doing. And what I like about working on this rough layout is that I see the door, the whole room, right? And there's the broken glass. So what is this? How could we... It's basically a, f wait a minute, that's going up, so the, I, w I just want to create a tube. I know it's weird, but it's, I'm thinking it's more like a fountain, right? So then I just draw another circle around this, and I can have, I can create these kind of paths. And this one will just go up like that. And these are off camera. This one's off camera, so this will just disappear here and there. I'll just put these markings. And it intersects that to here. So maybe we'll do that. What, one more? Intersects here and forward. And let's say that one ends there. This one will end off camera. And do we need others? Other arcs? <laughs> Maybe something in front of us. But those I could hand animate. So this is just good. This is just good to start the process because that's the biggest thing. I'm going to go to a harder lead. This soft tombow is um, maybe too softy, softy. Ah! And I'm going to do this. So this thing breaks. We need pieces, right? And also, we could do this. We could path. Let's create a path. Why not? So we don't have to do so much thinking. So this thing busts. So we, let's say it, it shoots out, right? So... I'm just placing the marks of the glass. And maybe, yeah, it slows at the top. Boom. And gradually increases. So this is the spacing. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, 16 frames. That's nice. And is it off camera? Who knows? Let me see. So I just got to plot this. Where's the last position? Right on it? Ah, I don't want that. So I'm going to adjust by putting every one of these right there. So, and then just move this one here. That goes there. I can move this one there. And just, to, and then the rest is fine. I mean, this is, this is good. And it'll go out. I'll just do this. Others will end here. So let me see this one. I guess they're all... I'm going to put this one a little lower. 
and it's shooting up with velocity, right? So, and then it's getting at this apex, which I really don't like. I don't like these center things. So I'm going to put it off center. And then it starts to descend a little bit higher now. And then by here, it's out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's just uh, the way it is. I didn't really plan that out. Okay, and this one shoots up so it's stronger. I like the variety. Uh, and then here, what is that? One, two, three, four. It doesn't even matter. This one's longer. It's got a big one. And then one here. And one here, not, at, not exactly at the apex, right? And then it starts gradually going down and down until it's no more. That's something like that. So this one's going to be here, shoots up because it's strong. And then I'm going to be here, here, and then on the other side of this curve. Or maybe the piece is just up here. You never know. And then this one here. So I can, I can plot these things. Well, this one will be gone. We'll be gone here. All right, so that's it. That's my game plan. I have a game plan. It's good to have a game plan. I was listening to Alan Bloom talk about human, the human need to want to know what they're doing and to be good. And it's never satisfied. Okay, that's something else, right? Okay, let's look at this. So we got a piece here. Now, I don't know. We'll have to make a piece that looks like a broken tooth. So what are our pieces? Let's think about our pieces. One could be a broken tooth, right? Another one could be a simple triangle with a little, uh-huh. One could be a kind of thunderbolt. What do I have? One, one two, three, four, five, five of these. One could be a V, right? Like, oh, it's Spock or something. Another one could be uh, a square-ish thing with a long side. That's five. So that's what we'll do. It's always planning. It's been thinking about it. And so I'll animate that. Stay animated.